absolutely nowhere. <laughs> and I love it. Hello and welcome to another episode of Photography Behind the Scenes. Today we are in absolutely nowhere as you can see. The weather forecast had announced fog in this area for this day so of course I was heading out immediately. I decided to park here just next to the road and then got the first photograph of this session. I think this is a very promising start, I like this one a lot already. I enjoy how the fog reduces the photo to only a few visible elements which work together as little pieces of a potential story. And of course the mood, the overall feeling created by the fog and the blue tint is immersing. After that, I had turned to my left to find a cute power pole in the distance only just visible in the fog. Here's the photo. I think it's a beautifully simple shot. Next, I went back to the car to get basically the same shot again, but this time I wanted to add the car in the frame as an additional element to create more interest. This is the result. I enjoy how the car comes into frame and gives the viewer more room for interpretation. However, I can't decide whether I prefer this shot or the previous one. What do you think? I continued to walk down the road and found a big log lying around on the grass. I thought this could be an interesting subject, so I got a photograph. Again, plenty of space for interpretation and I think this one too has a strong feeling to it. I like it. Past the log, I came to these houses. I decided to walk onto the field to get some distance from the house to compose a shot. This is what I got. I love it. This session has already been going far too good. I like the imbalanced composition here. It kind of builds this anticipation of a car or something coming from the left. After getting that shot, I walked back to the road. Before getting there, however, I turned around to get a photo of these tractor tracks going up the field. Here it is. I think it turned out alright. Then, as I got back onto the road, I saw a car approaching in the distance. It was coming my way and I really liked how the headlights were glowing, so I quickly composed the shot and got this. I love these. As you can see, I did quite some editing to make the scene look much darker. The orange lights contrasting to the whole atmosphere looks so cool in my opinion. Next, I was walking further along the road and came across these power poles, which, I don't know, I just can't get enough of these. I hope I'm not boring you with these shots of power poles, but I think they're just such ideal subjects when placed in these fields with the mist. I like them so much that I even shot those on the field on the other side of the road. Continuing down the road, I came to a junction where I found a bus stop which I tried to incorporate in a composition. Then I decided to set up the tripod and try one of those walking self-portraits on this road. Here's the shot. This worked out okay, but it's not outstanding, although I can't exactly tell what's not right about it. The feeling evoked just isn't similarly as strong as the photos earlier this session. I walked further along the road and found this sort of shed. I don't exactly know what it is, but I always enjoy this contrast between nature and some human construction or a sign of civilization. So I don't know if the temperature of this day is getting across to you through the video, but let me assure you it was cold and so I decided to get out these. Does this look ridiculous? <laughs> it's warm. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> so how do I use a camera with these gloves? This is the next shot I got. It's okay. I don't particularly like it though. Honestly, I don't think that shot really was any good. Oh, but how about this here? 
This one's better, I think. It conveys a feeling of seclusion, away from everything. I continued to walk, and at one point, as I turned around just to look behind, I thought this road I came from might make an interesting photo. The outcome is okay, I'm not so fond of it. Then I turned around again and the trees next to the house caught my eyes. This is what I got. I think it turned out beautifully. It's not an outstandingly great photo in any way, but it's an interesting impression and it emits this sense of calmness. <laughs> Gotta say, these are working better than I had thought. Walking here, I saw this huge power pole to my left and tried to compose a shot with it. I think this worked out quite nicely. Again, what intrigues me here is this displacement of this civilized object in midst of a more or less natural environment. Of course, a farmer's field is not actually natural, but I think you get my point. Walking on, I came to this road or track, which I wanted to compose as a leading line into the photo. I think the photograph works more or less. I did what I wanted to do, but overall the picture isn't that exciting. Beside where I stood to shoot that photo was a yellow bus stop sign. I went over here onto the field to distance myself from the sign a bit and to get a wide shot of the road and the sign with the forest behind. This works beautifully, I find. I like how the composition is split into foreground, midground and background with the popping yellow sign acting as the point of interest. These houses here caught my attention. I was aiming to get a pretty straightforward photograph of these to simply capture the scene, and I think it works. It seems a bit like a boring wide shot of a few houses, but I can stare at it for a while actually. There are many details to catch in this. Then, I passed this other bus stop close to the houses and decided to shoot another bus stop photo. This one also works, but I prefer the first one by far. The composition seems more captivating. Next, I came to this house here, which I also wanted to photograph. This is what I got. I think it's not as intriguing as the other one, but it's not bad. I love how that power pole rises behind the house, being barely visible in the fog. Then, I walked past the house and tried to get an angle of only the power pole rising up above the trees. This came out pretty good looking. Again, I'm enjoying the abstract touch of the power pole seemingly trying to fit in with the trees. I continued to walk the road and found something in the grass. By now, I was sort of following this theme of human intrusion in natural environments. This thing, I don't even know what it is, stands so randomly in this wide openly spaced field, which I think creates some tension between the elements. Oh my god, whoa! I didn't see that coming. So as you heard, I was fascinated by this scene. Generally, I'm always intrigued by roads that wind through forests. I decided that I want to get a self-portrait, and for that I wanted to switch to my wide-angle lens. I think there's something usable there. Whew. These are beautiful in my opinion. I think the 14mm lens fits this scene well to show the majestic looking trees, and with me running on the road, I think this has a sweet portion of action added to the photo. And the GoPro died. I had been filming for quite some time by now, so the battery had gone down all the way. From the forest road, I slowly tried to find my way back to the car. Here are some more photographs, which I all shot on my way back to the car. This session was another greatly successful one, with many photographs I'm really satisfied with. I guess these misty days are just always good. 
My personal favourite of the day is this one from quite early in the session. I just love how the mood turned out here and the room for interpretation created by that car coming our way. As always, please leave your thoughts in the comments, I'm curious to know which are your favourites. I hope you enjoyed the episode, if so, I'd appreciate a like, it helps to grow the channel, consider subscribing if you haven't yet, and I'll hopefully see you again next week in the next video. Until then, goodbye.